Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel RF Design Basics. In this lecture, we are going to take some examples of Z parameters and we will take circuit to solve for the Z parameters. As we know that the Z11 is given by V1 by I1 when I2 equal to 0 and it is known as impedance looking into port 1 when port 2 is open. Z12 is V1 by I2 when I1 equal to 0. That means it is the transfer impedance and the ratio of voltage at port 1 and current at port 2 when port 1 is open circuited. Similarly, the Z21 is V2 by I1 when I2 equal to 0. So Z21 is a transfer impedance and the ratio of voltage at port 2 and current at port 1 when port 2 is open circuited. Z22 is input impedance looking into port 2 that is V2 by I2 when I1 equal to 0. So it is input impedance looking into port 2 when port 1 is open. We can see that the first Z11 and Z21 is having the same case as I2 equal to 0. So Z11 and Z21 is calculated when port 2 is open circuited. Similarly, Z12 and Z22 is calculated when port 1 is open circuited. So now we'll take some example of Z parameters calculation and then we will find these four parameters one by one. So uh, there are uh, different type of examples possible. So first example is having only resistance. And in next example, we will be taking a circuit having dependent sources. So first we will uh, take the circuit. In this we can see that the V1 is voltage at port 1, V2 is voltage at port 2, I1 is input current from port 1 and I2 is input current from port 2. We need to find the Z parameters for this network. So to start with we have to calculate Z11. Now to calculate Z11 we have to see this network and let us assume that the uh, network is open circuited at port 2 as the definition of Z11 says that V1 by I1 when port 2 is open. So if there is no current flowing through the port 2, this, uh, this resistance or impedance equivalent of this circuit will be V1 by I1. So let us find out the equivalent impedance looking from port 1. It will be 8 which is in series and then 20 or 20 plus 10 both are in parallel. So 20 and 30 in parallel plus 8 in series. So Z11 is given by 8 plus 20 and 30 parallel. 20 and 30 parallel impedance will be 12 ohm plus 8 ohm that is 20 ohm. So Z11 is given by 20 ohm. Similarly for Z22 we will keep the first port open that means no current flowing through the port 1 I1 equal to 0. So we will be finding the equivalent impedance looking from port 2. So it is 20 plus 10 parallel to 20. So that is 12 ohm. So our Z11 is 20 ohm, Z22 is 12 ohm. Next part is to calculate Z12 and Z21 which is the transfer impedance. Let us first find out Z12. In this I1 will be 0. So the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor is 0. So this 8 ohm will not be in the circuit. Now we have to calculate V1 and I2 ratio. So V1, the voltage across this is V1, will be also equal to voltage across 20 ohm resistor and divided by 
i2 the current flowing through the port 2 to calculate that first of all we need to find out what is the current flowing through 10 ohm and 20 ohm resistor so this current will be 20 i2 by 20 plus 30 and if we multiply with the resistance of this 20 ohm resistor we will get voltage across this 20 ohm resistor so this is 20 i2 by 20 plus 30 multiplied by 20 which will give you 8 i2 now v1 and i2 ratio is equal to 8 so z12 is v1 8 i2 divided by i2 and i2 will cancel and you will get z12 as 8 ohm similarly we can find z21 for z21 the port 2 should be open circuited so let us assume that this port 2 is open circuited so i1 current which is flowing through the 8 ohm resistor will divide in two parts one is 20 ohm another one is 30 ohm so this is the current from current division rule we know this that 20 i1 by 20 plus 30 and the voltage across 20 ohm resistor will be the current flowing through 20 ohm resistor that is this current multiplied by 20 so again we will get 8 i1 so the v2 and i1 ratio is again 8 so we can conclude from this that z12 and z21 both are equal but z11 and z22 both are different so this network is reciprocal as z12 and z21 is equal this network is reciprocal and it is not a symmetrical network as z11 and z22 both are different now the z parameters can be written in terms of uh, matrix form as v1 v2 z parameters multiplied by i1 i2 so this is voltage matrix this is impedance matrix and this is current matrix so v1 v2 is voltage matrix and this is the z parameters we have found z1 120 z12 and z218 and z22 12 and this is the current matrix now let us take an example in which there are dependent sources present in the circuit so in this particular circuit we have a voltage dependent voltage source attached here we will assume the same condition v1 is voltage at port 1 i1 is current incoming from port 1 v2 is voltage at port 2 and i2 is current incoming from port 2 now to find z11 what we have to do we have to calculate the v1 and i1 ratio when port 2 is open circuited this port 2 is open circuited so here we can see the z11 is v1 by i1 i2 is 0 so let us assume that no current is flowing through this so we have the circuit only up to this now to calculate the i1 in terms of v1 so that we can find v1 and i1 ratio first of all we will take i1 current which is incoming from the port 1 and at this junction the current is dividing in two parts the first part will have vx by 1 so the voltage at this node is vx as given in the circuit at this node voltage is vx and this is a reference node which is considered to be 0 volt so vx minus 0 divided by 1 that is the current flowing through the 1 ohm resistor similarly the current flowing through 4 and 2 ohm resistor which is in series will be voltage at this point minus voltage at this point divided by total resistor so voltage at this point is vx voltage at this point is minus 2 vx so when we take vx minus minus 2 vx it will become vx plus 2 vx 
divided by the total resistor that is 4 plus 2 equal to 6 which is equal to after adding you will get 6 vx plus vx plus 2 vx by 6 so it is 9 vx by 6 and simplified as 3 vx by 2 the vx should be written in terms of v1 so we can see here the vx is node voltage at this point v1 is node voltage at this point so v1 minus vx equal to the voltage drop through one ohm resistor so voltage drop in one ohm resistor is i1 into 1 so we can write vx equal to v1 minus voltage drop in one ohm equal to this nodal voltage so vx equal to v1 minus i1 now if we substitute this value in this vx in place of vx if i write v1 minus i1 and simplify it we will get v1 by i1 which is nothing but the z11 equal to 5 by 3 ohm and so z11 is equal to 1.667 ohm now next parameter is z22 parameter which is given by v2 by i2 when i1 equal to 0 so let us assume i1 equal to 0 that is current incoming through this port 1 is equal to 0 now we have to find the v2 and i2 ratio so i2 current is incoming from this port so at this node it the i2 is dividing in two parts the first part will be in 2 ohm resistor second part will be in 4 plus 1 ohm resistor so the first part will be v2 which is the nodal voltage at this point minus 2 vx so v2 minus minus 2 vx is v2 plus 2 vx by 2 that is the first part of the current and the second part of the current will be in 4 plus 1 5 ohm resistor and the nodal voltage here is v2 and here it is 0 so v2 divided by 4 plus 1 that is 5 and can be simplified so it's 5 v2 plus 10 vx plus 2 v2 divided by 10 which is simplified as 7 v2 plus 10 vx by 10 so our next target should be to convert this vx into v2 so that this expression will have only two variables that is v2 and i2 and we can find the ratio so to calculate this we have to see the relation between vx and v2 so we can see this is v2 and this is 0 so v2 by 5 is the current flowing through this resistor so v2 by 5 this is the second part of the current which is flowing through 4 ohm and 1 ohm resistor so voltage drop across 1 ohm resistor should be the current flowing through this that is v2 by 5 multiplied by the impedance so here resistance is 1 ohm so the vx will be v2 by 5 multiplied by 1 so vx is v2 by 5 now we can substitute this v2 by 5 in the expression and we will get 7 v2 plus 2 v2 by 10 so v2 by i2 equal to z22 equal to 10 by 9 ohm which is given by 1.111 ohm next parameter is z21 which is v2 by i1 when i2 equal to 0 so again i2 equal to 0 and i am assuming the same expression of i1 which we have done for calculating z11 and we have already calculated i1 as 3 vx by 2 now what we have to do here is we have to write the vx in terms of v2 in z11 we have written vx in terms of v1 here we will be writing vx in terms of v2 for that let us write the current flowing in 4 ohm resistor when port 2 is 
open circuited it will be this nodal voltage is vx and this nodal voltage is v2 so vx minus v2 divided by 4 will give the current through 4 ohm resistor so that is vx minus v2 by 4 and we have already written the current through 4 ohm resistor in the expression that is 3 vx by 6 so vx minus v2 by 4 equal to 3 vx by 6 which is vx by 2 now when we simplify this we will get vx equal to minus v2 so we can replace vx with minus v2 in the current equation and we will find i1 equal to minus 3 v2 by 2 which is which will give v2 by i1 equal to z21 that is minus 2 by 3 ohm and it's given by minus 0 0.667 ohm now the next one is z12 which is given by v1 by i2 when i1 equal to 0 so again i am going to consider the same case when i1 equal to 0 and we have already done this uh, for z22 calculation so for z22 we have taken this expression for the i2 and then we have found i2 equal to 7v2 plus 10vx by 10 where vx was v2 by 5 we can also see that vx is equal to v1 because the voltage across 1 ohm resistor and voltage across the port 1 both are same if there is no current flowing through 1 ohm resistor so vx equal to v1 now we can compare these two and find out v2 equal to 5v1 and in the expression of v2 by i2 ratio for z22 we can just replace v2 with 5v1 and we can get 5v1 by i2 equal to 10 by 9 which was calculated for z22 so z12 equal to v1 by i2 that will be 10 by 5 will come in the denominator so 10 by 45 so that is equal to 2 by 9 ohm so z12 is given by 0 0.222 ohm so now we can write the z parameter equations and this in matrix form as v1 v2 z11 z12 z21 z22 and i1 i2 where the z parameter is given by these values for this particular problem and we can observe that the z11 and not equal to z22 also z12 and z21 are different it means that this particular network is non-reciprocal as well as non-symmetry so this network does not have any symmetry or reciprocity so in next lecture i will be explaining about the hng parameters and its examples thank you